Leave this rolling. Ah, made with the finest tears of the users. Welcome, my masters, to this Inkscape report from me, your Inkscape programmer, who is here to make Inkscape as difficult and frustrating for users to use. As always, I'm very grateful for my corporate overlords, who are my dearest friends, who allow me to work on this desolation project. As they would say, to affinity, and no further questions. Now, what do I have for you this week? After a disappointing week last, I have decided to be bold and adventurous and change one of the very fundamental principles of Inkscape. As you know, Inkscape does not do CMYK. So why is it that in the color picker, there is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black? Well, this is simply inconsistent and it will not stand. I have made a color picker with these colors removed. Users will now be restricted to only picking shades of red, green, and blue. Of course, I will personally miss the color black, so I've created a personal version of Inkscape with the black retained. I hope you don't mind. Anyway, this change would have been an amazing addition to Inkscape. But I've had difficulties getting these changes into the project. Those woke elites have been reviewing my code. My code? Don't they know who I am? Well, I will show them. I will get this into Inkscape. You mark my words. Anyway, back to the list of things that I've changed. After last week, you suggested to me a special request with regards to the preferences. I have decided to change the preferences so that instead of being a list of easy to find items, Inkscape now only has a simple cryptic box. Now, if the user types in the exact preference path correctly, the user will be given the preference to change. But if they type it in wrong, oh, Inkscape will darken and it will go into a sort of hard mode. Anyway. Ooh. Yes, hello? What is it? I'm in the middle of something. I see. I see. I see. I see. Will you listen here, you average user, insignificant null operator? I'm the one who commits. I'm the one who has control. I'm the one who has a say. <laughs> I have power, you have none. Yes, well, you should have learned programming instead of painting, shouldn't you? Fine. Well, go to Critter then, see if I care. Let them bend over backwards for your ridiculous demands. I'm sure they will be proud. Yes, and good day to you, madame. I'm sorry for the interruption. I don't know how users find my contact information but they always seem to. Asking for things like, oh, we'd like to save our work, and oh, stop crashing so much. Don't they know I'm trying to make it worse? Oh, ridiculous. Anyway, ah yes, Inkscape on hard mode. This should make things interesting. I have replaced Inkscape auto save with auto crash. This is a crashing feature that will crash at the most inopportune moments when you have the most important and valuable work unsaved. Inkscape will crash. And it will not save your work. There will be no crash save here. It will just die. And I think this is a vast improvement. Now, yes, once again, there has been a minor technical setback in the fact that it is not possible for the software to detect exactly when the worst times will be to crash. But I have made it so that it randomly crashes. And these crashes, in the minds of our simple users, will be attributed to the worst times because, 
like all users, they will forget all of the times when it crashes and for no apparent reason and they lost nothing. Anyway, that's everything for this week. As you have seen, I've been hard at work making Inkscape worse for you. Mm. Made with user tears. So, thank you for listening to this report. And hopefully these changes will make it to users in five or maybe ten years. I've also been trying to slow down the releases too. But anyway, thank you very much for your support. I am your humble servant and uh, happy Halloween. Let the old devil in, let the old devil in, let the old devil in.